Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this particular video, I will be discussing TCS Ninja and TCS Digital Interview Experiences that happened today only, that is on 21st May 2025. Guys, many of you say, sir, in Ninja interviews are very easy and coding is not important for those interviews. So guys, after watching this interview experience, this myth will change because whether it is Ninja or Digital Interview Experience that I'll be discussing, lot of coding questions have been asked in both of these interviews guys make sure that you are watching this video till the end because every question is important for you any question can repeat in your interview as well so don't skip any part of this video and make sure to watch this video till the end guys yesterday also i made the interview experience video for tcs ninja and lot of love i received on that video so kindly share kindly support this video as well by hitting that like and subscribe button for this channel and guys do join this telegram group it is dedicated for 2025 batch students lot of candidates are asking different different doubts here and lot of clarity they are getting okay and after watching this video make sure to visit this playlist wherein previous interview experiences also are here in this in this playlist only the link of this telegram group and this playlist i will give you in the description box so now let's start the video please hit that like and subscribe button for supporting me okay okay so guys first of all i will be discussing the tcs ninja interview the first question as you all know will be introduction as and as i have told you you can include your education background your skills your internships your projects your extracurricular activities your achievements all these things you can include in this particular answer okay moving towards the next question is explain the oops concepts in detail so guys there are four oops concepts encapsulation abstraction inheritance polymorphism you should know each and every concept in detail with their code because coding of a particular concept can also be asked from you in the exam okay so do read about the definition about their types and about the coding part this is a very important question as per the interview is concerned okay if you will see previous interview experiences also this question is getting repeated lot of times okay i hope this is also clear to you next question is write uh, explain inheritance with the help of the code as i have told you all the oops concepts are very important and they can be asked from you in the form of code also so this is the inheritance example with the help of code we have made a class animal then we are uh, made another class dog which extends animal this is inheritance part and then we are making the object of animal okay so object of dog like this this is known as upcasting okay so and this is how inheritance works oh okay and the output will be dog barks because this is the this method is overriding the above one okay i hope this question is clear to you every oops concept with their code is very important now moving towards the next question next question is write the code for palindrome first of all you should know what is palindrome palindrome means a string that reads forward and backwards as same let's suppose madam so initially also it is reading madam from left to right and from right to left also it is reading madam so you have to write the code to find whether a current string is a palindrome or not okay i hope it's clear to you okay so this is the screenshot you can take the screenshot of this code again a very basic question but in ninja interviews also these type of coding questions are asked now again you will be thinking sir sir we know uh, by reading the previous interview experiences but from where we should prepare for our actual interviews okay in previous video also i've told you we have a solution for your this problem on our top mid page of code bashers we have important interview it subject notes in these particular notes we are covering all these subjects which are important for the tcs interview not only for tcs but for different companies interviews we have gathered lot of interview experiences and we have found out the important questions for every subject for every subject that are that is mentioned here we have around 20 to 25 important questions with their answers if i will show you the sample of let's suppose the java pdf so you will see we have a proper question and we have a proper answer to it this is the answer that you can directly go and give to the interviewer and you will be very happy similarly for dbms also we have a proper question and we have the proper answer how you have to tell in the interview okay so any subject that is important for your interview is covered here for every subject once you will get these notes for every subject i have told you 20 25 important questions are there these particular notes will definitely help you for your last minute preparation and for revising your concepts i am not saying that everything will be coming from these notes but around 70 to 80 percent questions can repeat from these notes only the coding question that i have shown you in this interview has already discussed in this uh, in these particular notes in the coding questions pdf okay around 20 to 25 important interview coding questions are also there 
managerial questions are also there and HR questions are also there. So if you are interested and you think these notes can help you, go check out the links in the description box and see the rating is also good and lot of people have bought it. Okay. So the links will fi find in the description box. Now let's continue with the video. Okay, so the next question is write the code for finding out the prime number 1 to 100. So 1 to 100 numbers will be input and you have to find all the prime numbers in it. So the code you have to write. So again, this is the screenshot you can take. This is the code of writing the prime numbers. Okay, I hope this question is also clear. Next is write the code for Fibonacci series. So guys, uh, do you see that in Ninja interviews also these type of coding questions are asked and in a single interview, three coding questions have been asked. They are easy, but coding question is important for your interviews. Okay, so Fibonacci series, this is the code for Fibonacci series. So don't think that you have ninja interviews, so you can skip the coding question. You can skip the medium level coding question, but basic questions like a small string and array based questions can be asked from you. Okay, you can you can be asked to write on pen and paper. Okay, I hope this question is also clear to you. Next question is explain DDL, DCL, TSL and DML commands. So as, uh, DBMS is also an important subject for as per your interviews concern. So DDL commands are create, alter, drop, truncate. DML commands are insert, update, delete, select. Every command you should know what does it do and what is the syntax of that command. DCL is data control language. You can grant or revoke the access on a certain table or a database. Next is TCL. TCL is transaction control language, commit, rollback, save point. All these things, all these commands and are useful for your interview. Okay, you should know their syntax and their theory part. Next question is explain normal forms in DBMS. So what is normalization? Normalization is the process of organizing data to re reduce redundancy. There are different types of normal form 1NF, 2NF, 3NF, BCNF. Important question for the interview. You must know all the normal forms with their examples for as per the interview is concerned. I hope this question is also clear to you. Next is HR round questions. Okay, so in HR round question again introduction was asked. Leadership qualities were asked that what leadership qualities you pursue. Next, are you available for relocation? And the last question of the HR interview was any questions. So guys, whenever an HR or any person asks you, do you have any questions for me? Do ask one or two questions because this gives a positive impact to the interviewer that yes, you want to join the organization and you are not just do not just not doing formality. Okay. So this was the TCS Ninja interview. I have discussed the technical questions as well as the HR questions. I hope this Ninja interview was helpful for you. Now let's move towards the TCS digital interview. But before moving ahead, guys, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel. Make sure to join this Telegram group. It is dedicated for 2025 batch students. Every like and subscribe will motivate me for making more such videos. And you can write in the comment section also that when you have interviews and you have received any mail or not. Okay, and previous interview experiences that I have discussed, all you will find under this playlist of TCS NQT 2025. Okay, so now let's continue continuing with the TCS data interview experience. First question is introduce yourself, your education background, your skills, your uh, internships, your projects, your extracurricular activities. All these things you can include here. Okay, next question is explain quick sort algorithm. Now, guys, see, I have told you searching and sorting algorithms are very important for the interview. Searching algorithm include binary search algorithm and linear search. Sorting algorithms include bubble sort, quick sort, uh, merge sort, uh, selection sort. Okay, these are very important sorting algorithms and you must know. For each and every algorithm, you should know their best and average time complexity and their algorithm. Okay, this is the code for it. You should know by heart. Okay, what does this code do? Okay, and what is a sorting algorithm? I hope this question is clear too. Very important question. Next is explain binary search algorithm. So again, binary search algorithm works on the sorted arrays. It compares the middle element with the target, then narrows the search to the left or right half. So time complexity will be big O of log n, okay, and efficient for large and sorted data sets, okay. And this is the code for it, okay. Com complexity is very important for these sorting algorithms and searching algorithms. So this is the code for it. Next question is what is upcasting and downcasting in Java? So upcasting is child class object referred by parent class reference it always safe and allowed up casting is allowed in java so as i've told you earlier in inheritance example animal is the parent and dog is the child so this thing this is known as up casting on the left side parent is having the reference on the right side we are creating the object of dog so this is up casting and this is allowed but down casting Parent class reference cast to child class. It's not allowed. It's not always safe and may cause class cast exception. 
so what what it is saying so it is saying dog d because dog is a child of <clears throat> and new animal so this is known as downcasting and it is not allowed it is not allowed this is a downcasting and this is upcasting of casting is allowed and it is a good practice to do like this okay i hope this is clear to you next question is explain with the help of example local and global variables local variables are those which are declared inside the methods only accessible within that block global variables means declared in a class and accessible throughout the class this is an example you can see here inside this uh, function display we have a local variable as 5 this is a local variable but this instance variable equal to 10 this is a global variable because it is declared outside the function and it is accessible throughout the class okay this is the major difference here okay what is their life uh, life span okay so i hope this question is also clear to you now before moving ahead i would again like to remind you that on our top mate page of code bashers we have important intro it subject notes and we have a really good rating on these notes okay all the subjects mentioned here whether it is c++ java python dbms coding questions machine learning questions managerial questions are covered in these notes okay you can see the sample here for every subject that was mentioned we have a dedicated pdf in these notes and for every subject we are providing 20 to 25 important questions with their answer how you have to answer in the interview similar for the java pdf also so all the subject mentioned here we have 20 20 25 important interview questions and answer the chances of repeating from these questions only is high okay in this interview also that i have discussed the question that i have discussed are almost there in these notes also if you are interested uh, and these notes can help you for last minute preparation if you are interested the links are in the description box do check them out okay so now let's continue with the video next question is what is different kinds of strings and methods so strings first of all are immutable in nature so uh, there are some methods like dot length dot caret dot substring dot equals dot replace and dot to uppercase so to do, do need not need, uh, need need to run all these methods but if you know two or three methods that will be good for the interview i hope this question is also clear to you next is what is the difference between final finally and finalize again a very commonly asked questions in the interview final keyword can be used with variables which cannot be changed later it can be used with methods which cannot be overridden can be used with classes which cannot be overridden oh that cannot be inherited okay finally block is used in the exception handling which always execute whether try whether try block is executed or not finally will always be executed finalize method is uh, is used with the garbage collector for uh, destruction purpose okay i hope this question was also clear to you next is explain exception handling in detail so in exception handling you but you can uh, explain is you can include uh, try catch block okay finally block throw keywords and throws keyword you can talk about checked exceptions and unchecked exceptions also checked exceptions are generally the compile time exceptions that is input output, output exceptions file not found exceptions unchecked exceptions are like un null pointer exception array out of index bound exception okay so i hope this thing is also clear to you you just have to explain the interviewer in few words okay next question is explain your project in detail guys see in tcs detail and tcs prime interviews project will play a very important role okay at least mention two project technical projects in your resume and questions related to your projects can be asked from you like what is your project what tech stack your project is on what are the future scope of this project why you chose this project the challenges you faced how you overcome these what is the unique in your project that is not existing in the market all these type of questions can be asked from you and questions from the tech stack of your project can also be asked for example what is in python also questions can be asked machine learning can also questions can be asked so you should be prepared with these answers okay next question is why you chose this project again i have told you Uh, questions revolving around the project can be asked next is what text stack you used in your project again i have discussed this again from related to project only then different between sql and no sql database because see why this question was asked in the interview the uh, interview the interviewer asked the candidate which database you used so he said sql database he used therefore question is what is the difference between sql and no sql database and why you chose the sql database see cross questioning can happen okay no need to worry it's just if you have done a good project then you might you you will be knowing all these type of questions it is nothing new okay different in sql and no sql database was asked okay uh, yeah so the last question technical question of this interview was what was your role in the internship so this candidate has mentioned one internship in the resume so role about your internship can also be asked from you 
I hope all these technical questions are clear to you. And if you are finding this video informative, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and show some support towards this channel. Okay. Okay. So next were some HR questions like hobbies and trust. Tell me about your family background. Asked about my city and its speciality. So some type of HR question they just want to check your communication power. So that's why they ask these type of questions. So all the questions I have discussed here, I have discussed the TCS Ninja and TCS Digital Interview Experiences, and in future also I will be discussing the TCS Prime Interview Experiences also. So stay tuned for that, and please hit that like and subscribe button for this channel. And guys, again I am telling you, please join this Telegram group. It's dedicated for 2025 batch students. Okay. So this is the Telegram group. Uh, where it is? Just a second. Yeah. This is the Telegram group. It's dedicated for 2025 batch students. Do join it. It will be really helpful for you. And if you are interested. In uh, in these notes as I have discussed be below, this important interview IT subject notes, the links will be get in the description box. These notes can help you for your last minute preparation and for the for devising the concepts. All the relevant links will find in the description box. Thank you for watching this video.